Uh, what? What a surprise. This is for you. Okay, yeah, um, I would assume so since this is my room. What are you doing here, Kyle? Well, I'm following through on my promise to prove to you that I can be trusted, that I'm the same man you fell in love with. Okay, so you're proving to me that you could be trusted by breaking into my room? Well, well when you put it like that, it doesn't uh, sound please good, Please just but leave. No, please, give me a chance. I mean, aren't you impressed? I knew where you'd be. This is my mom's hotel. But I also knew the fake name you used to check in under, Adriana Masters. How did you get in here anyway? I had some help. It's my fiance's mom's hotel, so I know some of the staff. I'm not your fiance anymore, Kyle. No, you're still wearing the ring. It must mean something to you. It means something to me. I still want to marry you, Summer. So please, just hear me out. Give me a half hour. That's all I ask. If I can't convince you that we belong together, I'll walk out that door and never come back. Thank you for agreeing to hear my presentation. Let us begin at the beginning. Remember this? We've known each other our whole lives. We've been through good times and bad. We've had obstacles in our way, mainly because our families have constantly been at war, but we've made it through. That connection is never broken. Overwhelming. Uh, good, overwhelming, or bad, overwhelming? I was so sweet and so romantic. And I want to believe that we. You can't believe. We belong together. You've got to have faith and let go of any fears that there's still something between me and Lola. Yo, Kyle, this was supposed to be about us. But you just can't help bringing up her name. <laughs>